Hey guys, how's it going? Austin or Julia Picker here. This video, I'm going to be showing you my finds from the past couple weeks. Uh, no gold, but some nice sterling. One really good piece, like an absolute mind blowing piece that I've already had some crazy offers on. But yeah, I got some flatware as well. And yeah. Uh, one thing I want to say is, um, sorry that I'm not showing the pieces that long. Like, I know I kind of blow through pretty quickly. And that reason is because I'm still in school, obviously. I'm 15, so I still live with my parents. And school's a lot of work. Like, I just got out of class right now. I was just in math, and now I have to go do homework. But I decided to do this, and so I'll do it afterwards. So, uh, please... If you don't want to, if you think that I do it slowly, just don't watch the video. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll just start off small here. Here's a little, uh, Adina Raider ring. Uh, no marks of purity, but it says, uh, the maker Adina Raider. Uh, Sterling ring. Uh, this is in a scrap bag. So I paid probably like four bucks for this, five bucks. Um,. Usually the scrap bags I don't bother showing because a lot of it's just scrap, but some of it I do pull out pretty good. And there's one piece that I will show that I got pretty good from it. So yeah, that was from the thrift store. They usually sell like silver scrap bags or gold scrap bags, but yeah. Uh, this is in a scrap bag. I think that one of the, I got two. I think that this one was another one, but uh, this is a little uh, what's it called? Perfume thing. I don't, I don't know how it works, but maybe you like, go like this and go like that. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it's cool. It's a little tax one. Probably worth like $35. Uh, so yeah, it's not bad. This here. Uh, let's see. You got this guy. This guy was $12.50. Uh, it's a Michael Dawkins ring. I have two of these. Uh, where is it? Got one right here. Uh, this one's a little bigger in size, but they're the exact same one. But this one has a little bit of dirt on it, and I can't seem to clean it, but yeah. Nice ring. Alright, uh, I'll go to this guy. Uh, this was in a little lot that I got. Didn't have time to make a video, and I had to sell it quickly because a lot of money. And, um, so I just did it for myself, so it would take me a few minutes. And uh, this is in it. It's uh, like a Victorian hinged bracelet. Uh, I think it's rolled gold or gold filled. It just has that look. No marks or anything, but it's a nice bracelet, like a Victorian one. Maybe I don't know what this is, but it probably feels like pla it feels like plastic. But this might be garnets. I don't know. It's a nice bracelet. Uh, let's see. I'll show this guy here. This was at the thrift store. This was twelve dollars and fifty cents. Uh, this is like a really heavy uh, herringbone, or not herringbone, Omega necklace. Um, it was twenty five dollars half off, and this guy weighs like forty one grams or so. So that was a good one there. Um, also, in these videos, I show the better finds. So if you guys want to see just the little sterling things that I saw at the flea market, let me know. I'll show them starting the next video. But yeah, all right, uh, this here, this was $7.50, it's, it's a little concho, I think you'd call it, like a southwestern ring, uh, no marks, but a really nice turquoise one, this should be maybe 35 bucks. Uh, this guy here, this is a little Zuni bird brooch, a uh, little damage right there, it's like the glue, like kind of separated from the top, I don't know how to explain it, but like, it's not too bad, but yeah, we'll definitely note it when I list it. Uh, no marks, it has like some red line here, I don't know, probably from when they put it together, maybe it was like two pieces of silver connected, but for 15 bucks, I grabbed this. Let's see, this was, I think, $12.50 or something, I don't remember. It's a really nice, looks to be sand casted ring. I uh, have some sort of maker, which I'm not really sure of, but really nice turquoise. No idea what kind it is, but I know it's blue turquoise <laughs> with some little black specks in there. A uh, really nice style ring. I'm not sure it's a cuff because it'd be a lot better, but a ring I'll still take, especially for that price. Um, this thing maybe overpaid for. I paid 20 for this. Uh, I'm not sure if it's dyed halolite or not. 
but yeah, I haven't listed it yet, that's why. But it's uh, PY, I think that's Pete Yazi, which is a newer maker. They sell them on eBay, like a wholesale company, so. But I don't know, maybe it's worth like 45, 50 bucks, but I'll see, hopefully. I don't know how it's history like that. I think there's like something you could do with acetone, but I'm not too sure. Um, this guy was just like 15 or 20. It is missing a stone, sadly, but I should be able to get at least 60 for it. 50 or 60, because it's a nice turquoise cuff. Uh, really sad that it's missing a stone. But really nice design on the side, no marks. Um, this I paid up for, this is a John Hardy ring. This is 40, 39.99. Uh, J-A-I, which is John Hardy, 14 karat, and, uh, 95, ah, jeez, 95 Thailand. Uh, one of the balls, not the balls, like, one of these things here is a little dent right there, which I didn't really notice when I first saw it, because I don't bring my loop with me, usually I have a pretty good eye. But, that, I don't know, maybe it'll fix the value a little bit, but, I don't know. Um, I'll show the flower stuff now. So, little story behind these things here. So I went to my Goodwill, like 25 minutes, 20 minutes away from me, and they turned the case. Uh, they each had a $16 price tag on it, and they usually do that when they want to price it individually. But me, being me, I asked them. I'm like, is the price for all of them or is the price for one? So she's like, okay, let me go check. She goes to the back and she's like, oh, it's for all. And I'm like, oh crap, I'll get them all done. So, um, and then when I go to pay, the lady's like, oh, no, these are paid, these are separate, the $16. And I'm like, the lady told me, they, she went to the back, and she asked, and they said they're the price, all for one price. And uh, she goes, and then she's like, okay, fine, I'll give it to you for all one price. So I got all these for $16. Well, came out to seventeen oh four I think, with tax. But uh, they're all sterling. These ones are uh, Dutch and sterling weighted. These ones are Taule, I believe, Sterling, reinforced. They have the plastic bottom, which is still fine, but yeah. So, I don't know, I've been just kind of just hoarding my silver. Eight candlesticks or seven, I don't know. But yeah, I've been holding on to them. Uh, then I got these. These were at an estate sale, like two hours after they started. And I was looking at the silverware, they had a little corner of it. And I was looking over here, and it has a little lion that's facing to the left. So that's the British hallmark, if you don't know, for sterling. Uh, just the handles, these are just plated. But yeah, all these have sterling handles, which also they're hollow, so it's just a little layer. I don't know how much silver's on it, but I don't really want to take it apart because they're nice. There's six forks and six, like, butter knives. I think that's what they're called. That's what my mom told me. But, uh, yeah, so they're all, uh, marks. I think it's from 1838, but I might be wrong. I was trying to figure out the maker because it said, uh, S, H, B, Lion. It's like a crown or something. I paid 20 bucks, but I didn't say that for all, so under two bucks a piece. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, down to the last three items here. This isn't a scrap bag. This is a, a Tiffany butterfly necklace. Um, actually, it was separate. This was in one bag, this chain, and this is in the other one. Um, so this pendant is marked, uh, uh, it's marked Tienko, 1982, then Sterling. And then, um, the chain, it's not like a pretty chain, it's just a regular Tiffany chain. Uh, it's upside down, but it says Tiffany and Co, and then AG95, meaning silver. So, I had this up for 209 I couldn't find the exact one, but if I had it priced too cheap, it would have sold. It has six watchers on it, but yeah. So, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, this guy here, next guy, this probably one of my favorite finds this year, to be honest. It's such a nice ring. Uh, this one's $24.99. Uh, nice green turquoise and red coral. No marks, no signatures or anything that I could see. Um, I'm gonna check again. Yeah, nothing. Um, but it's a really nice ring. Let me see if I can move my light a little bit. Hope you can see okay. It, it looks like someone let me know if it looks bad. Um, but yeah, this I have up for 150 or 149. I don't know, something like that. Uh, three watchers fairly quickly. So nice ring. 
And probably my best find of the year so far. Uh, it's not gold or silver, it's actually a watch. This is a uh, Paul Peugeot. I never heard of the name, I don't know how to say the last part. Like Peugeot, I know it's like a European car name, the Peugeot part. But uh, this watch I got from the same estate sale that I got those forks and knives from. This was $10. I don't like how this light looks, sorry. Um, this was $10. Uh, I kind of looked it up a little bit online, and I saw some watches by him were going for like $600, and some were going for $20, so for $10, bucks, I got it. Uh, my mom was looking, helping me try to find it, and online, the cheapest one, not on eBay, was $1,800. Um, had a couple of jewelers look at it, but they didn't really help that much. One of them just at the time, and uh, because it is running, as you can see, and one of them, he looked at it. He offered me 20 bucks. <laughs> I think he knew what it was. He's like, you know, I'll give you $20. I'll take a chance here. It could be worth nothing. I'm like, no, nah, I'll keep it for that. So, uh, yeah, so I listed it. I have six watchers on it. I've had an offer of 700 and another offer of 1000 Um, I have it up for 1500 so we'll see what happens. So for a really nice um, profit on this, probably nothing is going to beat this this year, but... Yeah, great watch, especially that it's running. But yeah, so I'll do a little recap here. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with everything, especially because that watch, that watch was there two, af two hours after the sale started. I'm assuming if it was like some sort of Rolex or Omega, it would have gone instantly. But yeah, it didn't, so <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah, really happy, really, really happy when that sells. So. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like. Um, I think I did really well this week. And uh, yeah, peace.